Hello. Welcome to another video. I'm out on the Escoot Lecky bike. Because we it's been a while. Are you alright there, right there, lad? Get yourself there. It's been a while. I mean it's been a while since uh, since I've been out on a little bit of a solo. Is that an overhang? Don't want to lose the lecky bike off the end of there. Hey. So it's just a simple one, this one. It's forecast to rain through the night and into the tomorrow, but I just fancy pitter patter of rain on tent and I'm in the Big Agnes copper spur. There's, I don't think there's going to be any stars. I don't think there's going to be a sunset or a sunrise. So stay tuned. We'll see what we can do. Let's get the wigwam set up first. Come on. Come on. This one's for me, this anyway. You know them ones where you're just like, oh, I just fancy getting out on bike. And they have. For those that are regular viewers, you'll have seen this bike before, and I, as I've said, full disclosure, I, re I, uh, I bought one of these myself a while ago, actually, and I really liked it, and then I reached out to them and said, oh, do you, do you, you know, I'd be happy to promote you, and then they sent me this one, and they sent me a code which is here, so you can get, if you want 50 quid off, if you use that code, I'll leave that down there, uh, downstairs, and this isn't a review of it, I've done a review on my second channel, I'll leave it there, but this is just me out on it. And as far as lecky bikes go, mate, I don't know much about them, but the people that I've taken out on this one and the other one are really into it, and I'm into it. So it gets a thumbs up from me. Check it out if you want. Get you off your pedestal, lass. Come on. Don't know what wind's going to do either. Am I too near edge, do you think? I'll be right. I'll be right. There it is. La big agne. And I've got the footprint for it now, so you can sort of set it up um, out of first if, you, if you're that way inclined. And if it starts to rain. Do one of these, look. There we are. Big Agnes mush. That's who? The Big Agnes. <laughs> Look at her. I like her. Isn't she bonny? I like her more and more. I'm excited to get in her. I've been staying in Hilliburg quite a lot of late. I mean, in fact, I spent a long time in it down in Cornwall, Devon. I've just been down to Kent to see my mate Matt and stayed in it there for a couple of nights. So it's nice to have a mix up and it's nice to be back in this thing. There's something about it, mate. It's it's definitely harder to set up than the Hilliburg. It's a lot more fidgety, but once it's up, I don't know, mate. It just feels good. Feels good. Can you? Can you? Can you? Thermo Rest Neo Air Uber Light. Proper lightweight, man. Proper lightweight. And to blow it up, this has got to be one of the best things, best purchases of recent times. No exaggeration. I'll leave a link for this. And for those of, the, of you that don't know, it's an electric pump, which blows your airbed up in no time whatsoever. It saves you gassing out, saves you filling your airbed full of condensation. It uh, doubles up as a lantern, lantern deck. And you can also charge your mobile phone in that little, it's got a USB bit in it. And you can suck the air out as well so you can pack stuff away. It's the business. I need a different adapter. Luckily it comes with it. it comes with all different adap- Oh no. Midges. It's always going to be the weight. So I'll switch it over because I was using it on my uh, X-Therm before and it is a different adapter. It's that simple and here we go. It's not the best noise, I'll be honest, but I'll, we'll uh, cut to it being blown up. Done. Have a sit. Flimsy this thing, what a flimsy but you can tell it's very, well it's uber light so with that you do sacrifice a little bit of strength. So. We've got this, the Synergy Sheet, which gives you a little bit more, well, I, yeah, I guess protection, but it's also a better feeling. 
you know, in case you just want to have your skin on it. The synergy sheet. Okay, sh synergy sheet. I get you. I see. I see. I don't know what that's there for. It looks like some sort of bra. Get it on. <laughs> also, because if you were, you know, if you're struggling and you're out, you know, you're out and about and you've maybe just forgot your clothes or whatever, the synergy sheet doubles up as a, it's a nice blouse as well. <laughs> the synergy blouse. There you go. That's just a little life hack. I might make a separate video about that, TBH. I will Right, synergy towel. Why has it got these little things then? There's, and maybe that's where you put your legs, look. Cute. Cute as a button. It's a lot, of, it's a lot nicer feeling. And as the nights get a lot warmer, you're more likely to have less clobber on, aren't you? So it'll be feel nice on your skin. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I did bring me bug net. They're not kicking my ass at the moment, though, so we'll leave them be. We'll leave it be. Synergy pillow, just wrap it round them. Um, my trichology, as always. I heard a few people say that these have failed them, but this has been going strong and it's uh, ever so comfy. And the fact that it goes around the airbed, it's legit. And for sleeping bag, what is it? I hear, no I hear nobody cry. What I like to do is put all my bags in one bag. That way, if you lose that bag, you've lost the lot. Sleeping bag, what is it? It's the Rab Neutrino 600, which has permanently replaced my Alp kit, which is starting to get a bit cold in Alp kit, if, <coughs> if I'm honest. Is a shed a few feathers of it, really. It's a good setup, is that, man? The Uber light with the, whatever we call this thing, the blouse on it, and then Neutrino with pillow. We've got my lantern up here, my good lantern, so maybe we'll get some night shots of the tent. If this weather holds out, man, it's forecast to forecast to piss it down, but fingers crossed. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lecky bike as well, if it pisses it down. Also, what do you do if someone just comes and just tries to nick it in at night? Anyway. Got me while I'll show you them later, anyway, whatever. Oh! <laughs> Lord have mercy. I tell you what, I love being in this tent. It is so, it just feels really good. It's ever so light and airy and the material just feels excellent. Really pleased with it. And I'm still, ugh, I'm still pleased with it. And I'm, uh, I'm toying with the idea of taking it on some long distance, long distance trips. Cause uh, for anyone that follows me on Instagram, I did say that I was going up to Scotland because I'm off to go and do some hiking, some uh, some more th uh, long distance hiking in Scotland, but the forecast where I was going was dreadful. So I just thought, instead of going in like gale force winds and driving rain, let's just hold off a little bit and go up when it's a bit nicer weather. Because A, I want to enjoy my time there because it's like a holiday. And B, for making a film, it's just not the one, is it? So I've postponed that and it gives me more time to check out which tent I want to take because I'm up. It's up in the air really at the moment, and this is a contender, which I never thought I would even dream of taking something that's not a pole tent, a hiking pole tent. Look how beautifully clear it is. I didn't bring a stove or anything. I've just got my bush box. That'll do. That's more than enough to boil some water. There's enough of that. It's uh, that's just some. It's just dead willow, and there's enough of that in there. If I wanted to keep a fire ticking over for the ambience, I could, but I don't want to. I just want to boil me water to get my food on, because I'm happy just. If there's no stars out, I'm happy just chilling in the tent with sound at rain on fly. Dry as a bone.
So I'm gonna try and get a quick fire going. Please have some, some fat wood, please, please. No. Yes, right knife, bit of fat wood. Right, what have I got? I'm using a lighter, mate. I'm afraid. Not very bushcrafty, but that's life sometimes. The one in it. That's it. Knife for this trip. My spider coat. Get these trivets on. That on. Yeah, man. That'll have to do. It'll simply have to do. As you can maybe hear, it is raining. I've done all right. I just put my rain jacket on. Managed to get a fire going. Luckily, I had some fat wood in me. Uh, my fire making pouch, whatever, whatever you call it. And we managed to get a fire going enough to boil a cup of water. And in turn, I'm gifted this. And my mouth is watering. The packets are really good. You've got a thing that you strip off the top bit, pour your water in and then, instead of having to rummage around in it it's got another little got another little tear zone there so you can just create a smaller pouch easier to eat out of creamy salmon with pasta and it looks i mean it doesn't look brilliant but it looks compared to a lot of these things look at that massive chunk of salmon it's got carrots and peas that i can see pasta look at that God, there's no point, is there? Oh, forget it. But, yeah, try again. <laughs> what else are we going to... Oh, fuck. There's no else to do, is there? Except for show you a bit to... Look at that. It doesn't look very good. I'm not... I'm not selling it, am I? But that's a... That's a huge... Massive chunk of pa uh, salmon. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. Been a long day, man. Oh, I was supposed to be on a long distance hike, I don't know if I told you before, but the weather's just not having it. There's something nice about listening to it rain, isn't there? On your tent, knowing that you're nice and dry. What else is there, mate? I'm not drinking or anything, I'm just, I've got water, some food, all good. Tomorrow I'm going to go and definitely find somewhere to have a dip. I've been trying to get a vid together, like, I've been going, uh, I just haven't been feeling it, mate, if I'm honest, and things have just been against me, because I, I went out to get some, I saw some chicken of the woods, and I went out to get that, picked it, and I was going to do a little um, cook-up of that, but one thing led to another. I just ate it anyway, and I figured it. I just ate it for my tea, and for the last few years now, every time I've had chicken of the woods, it sort of upset my tummy, not massively, but I can just feel it, and it's the same thing every time, so I think that's the last time I'm going to eat it, because I kept eating it thinking, oh, this is it, I'll, I'll build up an immunity to it, and it's devastating, but... Some people it just doesn't, uh, doesn't sit well with and I'm just one of them people. It's a bit annoying. And then I went spearfishing. I went to try and go spearfishing and it was just... I'll roll a clip, man. I'll roll a clip. Roll a clip. Can't 
see how big. You can't even see 30 centimetres. I don't know what, what I'm doing. I'll see if I can get past this kelp and see if anything changes, but it's bitterly disappointing. So there was that, just an absolute nightmare really. And it's not just filming it, it's just the things haven't ha haven't happened, you know? Like, the chicken in the woods thing and not having visibility down there and there's just one, it's one thing or another, it just hasn't really panned out and I'm not gonna force it. Thanks for sticking with me if you're still with me. <laughs> I've not got much on to do really, I'm just gonna listen to my audio book, have some water and that's it. Snooze. I'll turn this off because this light's doing my nutting and I want to listen to my audio book. Morning gla glampers. <laughs> no sunrise this morning, but it's not too bad at all. Iron donkey and wigwam. I'm buzzing, man. It was supposed to be pissing it down. It was forecast to be pissing it down this morning. And it rained all night, but just not heavy rain and wind. It was just like that nice rain where it gives you a nice ambience so you can just drift off. It was very soothing, I had a really good night's kiss. And I've woken to this. There's even little snippets of blue <laughs> in the sky, which is a joy. Oh man, taking a bit of this sea air. And then, go find somewhere to dunk. It might be in the sea, it might be inland, but we'll find somewhere just to plum it, plunge the plum. That's how I like to end these ones. Oh, I can bring you stuff like this. It's quite nice, isn't it? A reflection of the dappled sunlight through the clouds, bouncing off the sea. It's rather beautiful, isn't it, don't you think? Wind's picked up a bit, so... Definitely... You definitely want to be tying one of your guy lines straight to your bag. It's any expensive, blustery, expensive mishaps. I'm going to leave this far peg in as well, just in case. Oh shit! Shit! That was it! Peg came out! <laughs> Ten went! Oh my god! Get on it! Peg went! Oh my god! <laughs> See? Right, we're still not out of the woods. We're still not out of the woods. Oh my god, that would have been it. Big Agnes in big blue. That's why. That's why, kids. That we could have possibly even dragged my bag off. That uploaded, that uprooted to, no, it's shut up now, let's just get this done. Let's get wind picking up! Let's get it flattened out. <laughs> Mate, that nearly... That drag, that had gone in there and dragged bag off as well. I think we'd have had tears. I think we'd have had tears. Full grown man tears. Not just like with little, not a little whimper, a full blown ball in my eyes out. <laughs> so, the way I like to look at things like that, right, is when, when, you avert, when I avert tragedy, I buzz off it because I just think I'm so happy that that didn't happen. It's like, 
I've been in a couple of car crashes or near misses as well in my life and uh, as soon as they're done I start laughing and I just I'm so happy. It's like oh that's mint, we didn't die. Well done. So in an alternate in like in sliding doors in another world, big Agnes would have dragged that bag off there. See you later. That's it. Devastating. I'm so glad I attached it. I attached it to the bag, though. That was a good advert for attaching it to the bag because it uprooted pegs. That's two pegs. So if you think you're safe with pegs in, think again, Squire. It's as good a quality as the Hilleberg, I think. Uh, if not better, inside the stitching and. The way the material all works together. She's a beauty. Oh, she's blowing my bike over. I didn't even see. In all the kerfuffle, it's even blown my bike over and it's right next to the edge. Imagine that. Tent gone, bike gone. <laughs> Devastated. my back, why has my back gone all weird? There's another peg there, look. From my tragedy. Why has my back gone all weird? Put back in, I think. Uh, my back's gone all weird. Lower back and all down back at legs. Is that me done? Oh no, that's ironic, isn't it? Just doing a yoga pose as well and I've just, I think I've tweaked my back. Oh. oh well, that's life. It's life, isn't it, when you tweak your back? What can you do? Officially tweaked it. Wow. Oh. I've tweaked me. <laughs> that bike was right near edge on it. <laughs> right then, tweakers. Tweedle dumb and tweedle dumber. Let's get me little uh, get kickstand gone and then uh, get out of here, eh? Right, I'll uh, I'll meet you at a watering hole where we can we can dunk our junk together. See you there. Just some advice for you because I'm always learning and I don't want to try not to be too preachy and telling you about know, how to live or whatever but sometimes if I find stuff that I like and it works I'm gonna pass it on mate because some people do get uh, inspiration from it and that makes me feel good I've just been practicing a lot of being in the moment being in the now because any pain that you feel or any worry that you have or any anxiety or anything like that it's attached to something in the past or in the future and so if you can sorry lights a bit shit look where even am i look someone's back garden or something if you can detach yourself from those feelings even momentarily from the past and the future and just live in this little slither of beautiful now 
then everything else is attached to it that goes with it. So your pains, your, your anxieties, your anything that ails your noggin is, in the, is either in the past or the future. So there's great peace to be found in the moment and living in the moment. Uh, and it's not always easy to remember that. And sometimes you have to do things like uh, dunking in cold water to take everything away or breathing, meditating, yoga, whatever you want, putting on your favorite music, whatever. And just let the past and the future just drift away and just live in the moment. Even if it's for a short period of time, it's like a little holiday, it does you wonders. I'm leaving it here. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Take care. Bye for now. Wow.